Hey, let's talk about how to be amazing at guest services today. Now, I know you're probably like, what? I'm not in guest services. We are in guest services because our customers are the lifeblood of our organization and how we make residual income. So I wanted to just quickly share some tips with you on how to keep your customers feeling like they made the right decision in getting these products and in getting them from you in particular. So I did take some notes. So if you see me looking down, um, I just wanted to make sure not to leave anything out for you. Um, you'll notice a common theme and that is communication. Having genuine communication on a regular basis with your customers is going to make all the difference. In network marketing, we, we basically get paid to be friends. So I mean, like, learning how to be a better friend and making money, to me, that's like the best job in the world. So how can we genuinely communicate in, in a creative and effective way to keep our customers and the people that are ordering with us engaged and to make them feel like they made the right decision in ordering with us? So um, I just wrote down a few of those ways and then we'll go over um, just some tips. So one of those ways is to send your customers an article about an ingredient that's in one of the products that they ordered. So let's say that somebody ordered the greens with you, okay? Um, we can look up the ingredients to the greens and pick one and then look up cool articles about that ingredient. So... Um, Another example would be like defining gel. I think there's eucalyptus in the defining gel. So I could look up a cool article about how eucalyptus helps the skin. And then I could send that to my customer and I can say something like, you know, hey, Sarah, um, I found this article and I thought about you. I know you ordered the defining gel recently and eucalyptus is one of the ingredients in it. Check this out and look how awesome eucalyptus is for the skin. I hope you have a great Tuesday. Thanks so much for letting me be your It Works Global partner. Something like that. So that's an idea. Sending an article with ingredients in it from a product that they are using. Okay. Um, also articles that have to do with their goals. So if someone's goal is weight loss and you come across a really um, awesome weight loss article or thing in a magazine, take a picture of it and send it to them or copy the link and send it to them and let them know you are thinking of them. So you could say, you know, hey, um, Candy, I know you're trying to lose 15 pounds in the next three months. When I saw this article, I thought about you. Um, I thought you might like this idea and send it to them. Um, so sending an article related to their fitness goals. Another thing would be welcome mail. This is something I love doing and it's fun for me. I send out welcome mail every time somebody becomes a customer with me. So what they get in their welcome mail is they get a blitz card, so a coupon, um, no matter what they ordered, if they ordered wraps or greens or cleanser or whatever, they're gonna get a, a coupon from me in the mail. On the back, it has my information, okay? And they're going to get this little postcard from me. And I'll come in so you guys can see what it says. Um, on this, I write a note to them and I say something like, you know, hey, um, I'm so excited that you ordered the greens. You're going to love them. I'll put like a little tidbit on how to use the greens and what I like to do on the front. And then on the back... I will include like a sample of something. So I'll put like, enjoy this free sample of wow or enjoy this green chew. And then I'll write what that product is. They're also going to get a catalog from me with three or four items with a star next to them, meaning that those are my favorite ones. So they're gonna get those things in the mail from me um, as soon as they become a customer of mine. It's a great way to just make them feel special. Like imagine, if you, um, you know, bought leggings from someone and then they sent you a coupon in the mail, they sent you a catalog, you'd be like, oh, that's so cute. So that's essentially what we're doing with the welcome mail. Another thing you can do is um, remind them of their perk points. So perk points is basically free money for them. Every time a customer spends money with us, they get 10% back in free product. So let's say that I bought a box of body wraps. <clears throat> I'm gonna get $5 back in free product. So as you can imagine, after three months of 
buying something, whatever it is that the person's buying, they're going to have um, accrued some perk points and you can send them a little message and just say, Hey girl, um, you know, I was checking on your account today. Just wanted to let you know you have $15 in free product. Was there something that you always wanted to try from the catalog and haven't yet? Something like that, letting them know that they have perk points. It's an easy way to touch base with them. And I like to do that after their third auto shipment. Um, you can send them a before and after photo and just let them know that you were thinking of them. So sometimes if I have people who are wanting to lose weight, I'll send a really great corporate approved before and after photo of someone who's lost weight using the products. And I'll say something like, oh my gosh, if she can do it, you can totally do it. Just wanted to let you know I'm cheering you on and thinking about you today. And I'm so excited for your results over the next 90 days. Something like that. So sending a before and after photo um, to them. And maybe you might try to find before and after photos of their sim similar body type and things like that so that they can really visualize the results that are possible for them. Um, we also have the ability to send recipes. So a lot of times um, people want to make healthy food choices but they just don't really know where to start. So if you send all of your loyal customers a healthy recipe and just say, hey, I know we're all trying to get healthier and look better for summertime. This recipe is super easy, only takes 15 minutes to prep and cook and my family loves it. Bam, you've touched base, you're being genuine, you're, you know, keeping their goals in mind. Um, so those are some of my favorite ways to retain customers. And again, it just goes back to caring about them, caring about their goals, taking care of them, making sure that they know how important they are to you. So again, you can do an article with an ingredient, you can do an article related to their goals, you can do welcome mail, you can tell them about their perk points, you can send them a before and after photo, um, and you can send them healthy recipes. So those are all ideas for you to use. Now, I don't want you to feel like, oh my gosh, I don't have time to do all of those things. You don't have to do every single one, but I will say this, if you want to get paid six figures, you will treat this business like a six-figure business. The millionaires who are with It Works aren't saying they just don't have time to appreciate their customers. So I want you to think about that. If you want this to pay you like a career, you've got to treat it like a career, which means you're going to have to get a little organized, okay? So I really like to have my Erin Condren planner, and I do have a discount code if you guys don't have a planner that you absolutely love. Erin Condren is phenomenal um, and customizable. So if you want that coupon code, just send me a Facebook message and it gives you $10 off. Um, keep your planner um, with you all the time. And so when somebody becomes a customer with me, I will write their name down for the, on the day that they ordered with me. And then I will write their name down um, about five days prior to their auto ship date on the following month. So if somebody ordered with me today, it's May 9th, then on June 1st, I'm going to write their name and that's going to cue me in to follow up or check in with that customer in one of those ways. Um, you know, they're already have going to get their welcome mail for me. That's a given. That's for everyone. Um, but it just reminds me, you know, um, to check in with them and to be a good friend for them. <coughs> Once you get to the point, you know, like me, where you have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers, it's going to be essential for you to be organized. So you might as well start that from the beginning and find a system that works for you. Um, also, don't be afraid to follow up because you are afraid of what their response will be. So when I first started, I was a little bit nervous to follow up because I was like, oh, what if their stuff isn't working? What if they're hating their products? And I very quickly learned that nine times out of ten, people are like head over heels in love with their results. And then there are some people who are like, I don't, I'm not seeing the results that I want and I'm not quite sure why. And they're not upset. They're just looking to be coached. They're looking to be guided. So imagine like if you bought yourself a whitening toothpaste and your teeth weren't getting whiter, you would hope that you would have somebody to go to to ask questions. That's what our customers want. So be that person that's following up with them and just be prepared to ask the right questions. If someone says, you know, I'm not really getting the results that I want, 
ask them questions. We're, we're a coach for them. We're a consultant for them. So, um, you know, you can ask questions like, are you using the product regularly? Are you using the product every day? Um, how are your eating habits? Have you done a full treatment yet? Has it been a full 30 days yet? Can I see your before and after photos so we can look at those together? Things like that. If you get stuck on like, okay, my client said they're not seeing the results that I want. I'm not sure what kind of questions to ask them. Go to the team page, to our Freedom Wrappers page and ask, you know, hey, this is the feedback I'm getting. How can I professionally and um, positively come back to this person. So um, those are kind of all my tips and tricks for customer retention. When people feel appreciated, they will be loyal to you. Um, you know, and, and it's our job to love on people while they're on this journey. And being healthy isn't always the easiest journey. It's emotional. It's a physical journey. So just Having us be the people that are truly caring and truly reaching out to them and encouraging them, we might be the only people that are doing that for them in their lives on a consistent basis. So keep that in mind. Your customers are everything to you. Without customers, you would not be having an income. So value your customers, get yourself organized, and put those things into practice. Having all of these great ideas and this knowledge is not going to do you any good if you don't act on it. So get busy. Show some love to your customers and have a fantastic week. Oh, what did I do with the video? Is it still on? It's still on. I don't know how to edit that out. I pushed the wrong button. Okay, have a good week, you guys. <laughs>